imagine a world where you're able to take a static image just like this one and just give it any kind of motion that you want whether it's jogging or even running or maybe you just want to give it the latest trendiest dance moves on social media what if i told you that all that is absolutely possible and in today's tutorial i'm going to show you exactly how you can achieve results just like these ones for 100 percent free and the best part is anyone can absolutely do this because the tool i'm going to share with you is so so easy to use but before we get started remember to hit that subscribe button also remember to like and share this video so that more people will be able to find it without wasting time let's get right into it the first thing you'll want to do is hit the link that is in the description below or you can just go over to google and you can search for vigor so basically this is their home page and with vigor you actually need a discord account to make use of the tool and as you can see there are actually a bunch of things that you can do with this tool so for instance you can actually animate a static character with a text prompt so all you have to do is upload your character and input a prompt of how you want your character to move and there you have your results the next thing you can actually do is you can create an out uh, sorry a character and a video all from prompts and you can get you know the kind of motion you want from the character that you have created the other thing you can do is actually go ahead and upload your character and give it a specific style that you want to see and then you can go ahead and input a prompt that you want to see in your character like of how the character is supposed to move and this tool is just going to go ahead and do that for you now we'll just go ahead and click join the beta and you'll be directed to their discord account if you do not have a discord account you'll be able to create your own there uh, but if you do have an account, all you need to do is just, you know, go ahead and join the Vigol Discord server. So for here, we're just going to verify, yes, of course, I'm human. And then you'll just go ahead and answer a few questions for them. And then after that, you'll be in. Okay, so once you're in, you can just go ahead and check out uh, some of the important things on their server for instance on the left hand side panel you'll be able to see a few things that may be of use to you for instance you can just go ahead and see the rules that you need to follow there is also the updates there you can also go ahead and check out the frequently asked questions and you'll also be able to see the motion prompts also on that side but I'll show you exactly how to get those prompts much easier. This is a bit confusing. Well, for me, it was. So at this point, what you need to do now is just go ahead and choose one of these channels to join. So I'm just going to choose channel 8. So we're just going to go ahead and start animating our images. For that, all you need to do is hit the forward slash button. And you'll be able to see all the available tools that you can use. So we're just going to hit the animate option and you're going to choose our first character over here. Now you need to open a different window on your browser and type vigol.ai forward slash prompts. As you can see now there are all these prompts that you can go through and choose from. So just go through them and once you get a prompt that you like or what you're looking for, just copy that prompt and come back over here to the Discord server and you're going to input that prompt in the motion prompt and you're going to choose the background and the fine tune you're going to leave it on and now you're going to hit enter and wait for the tool to generate our motion now here's our first result so we're just going to play this and see how it turned out as you can see the character is actually moving exactly how we wanted it to move it's moving in accordance with the prompt that we chose so let's choose a different character and you're going to choose this girl over here and you're going to choose a prompt you're just going to copy it and you're going to go back to discord and paste it over here and for the background you're going to choose a green screen and you're going to leave the fine tune on and hit enter and now our results are here as you can see the character is actually moving right the way we chose the movement is actually really smooth so just go ahead and test this out using different types of characters so now we are just going to choose a different uh the same girl actually let's choose the same girl and this time we're not going to choose a prompt we are going to input a prompt manually we're going to put running 
choose a white screen and leave the fine tune on and hit enter so here is our character and as you can see she's actually just running just like we prompted for her to run so if you do not want to choose one of their prompts you can just go ahead and manually input the prompt that you want just explain how you want your character to move like the motion that you want to see in the you know image now we're going to use the mix option and for that you're going to look for a video a free video that you can actually use so i have chosen this video from mix kit and you're just going to go ahead and download this so basically we want our image to move like the woman in this video so we're just going to hit forward slash you know mix so we're going to choose the mix option and you're going to upload our image so we're just going to upload our girl over here and you're going now to upload the video that we downloaded you know we want our girl to move like this woman so we're just going to input the reference video over there and the background you're going to choose a green screen and you're leaving the fine tune on as well so once that is all done you just need to go ahead and hit enter and wait for the results so let's just go ahead and look at our results and here is the video and this is actually so amazing she's actually moving exactly like the woman in the video so let me just put that up you know side to side for you to see so here's our image and the video that we chose as you can see this is just so smooth so now let's go ahead and upload a different video with movements that are a bit more complex so we're going to choose this car uh, this image sorry and you're going to choose this video so let's see how these two compare we're just going to do the same and hit enter so let's just see the results how they turned out uh well i'm not particularly impressed with these results as you can see the features of our image is changing uh the hand is on the side everything is everywhere but the character has actually copied the right movement but the character itself is very much distorted so let's see if we can get better results with a different image so let's just use the example of our girl and we're going to do the same process and hit enter so let's see if the girl has adopted a better movement you know with intact features and as you can see this is so much better the movement is a bit smoother much of course way more smoother than the bunny so this is actually better so now the good thing with using a green screen is that you can just go ahead and place your character in whichever environment that you want them in and with the use of any editing software you can easily go ahead and you know blend your character into any environment that you want now if you have any questions about this you can go ahead and put them in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to respond and i hope you learned something new today so i hope to see you in the next one bye bye